Greetings and welcome! So last time I did the first test drive with my new tricycle pedal car and it was pretty good. But sometimes a little bit of extra boost would be awesome. So I purchased an e-bike modification set for a while. Euros. The cheapest set with a display unit which I could afford. Ooh, a package for me! Unboxing, but very careful. We don't want to break the guts inside. So what's inside then? Oh, I'm impressed! Those brake levers are full metal ones! Oh my! That's a heavy one! I mean it! It even comes with a cassette rocket already mounted! Here we go, all components ready for installation, but I can't fit the wheel in yet. My bicycle fork is just too narrow, so my hydraulic press is the only option to bend that fork into shape. Well, the bending action was a little bit uncontrolled, because the fork with the mounted wheel isn't any more aligned straight with the rest of the tricycle frame. Did my best to fix that problem. <laughs> Here adjusting the rear derailleur. Wait, what's that? When did that happen? Well, you see, at some point I screwed up. I simply wanted to make that cable fed through for the control panel display thing. It happened that the cable with the plug was quite wide. So I used my power drill with a hole saw. First hole, second hole. Two holes next to each other. Now just connecting both holes to make a large cable opening. And here's the thing. I used my angle grinder and I don't know how I probably held it completely wrong and unsafe. Suddenly my thumb was in between the spinning disc and the fender. Or maybe it happened because of my gloves, which I almost always wear. Stupid. After a little shock and the uh, duty of self engineering my thumb, I walked for around one hour around in circles while giving myself some serious pep talk. Completely pissed and grumpy, I simply continued with the production anyway. One week later. Well, yeah, lesson learned. From now on only I will use it like that, with both hands firmly gripping that piece of garbage. At least I was gifted with a one week vacation for my stupid real life job. So at least I achieved something, I guess. Am I finished yet? Let's see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, got myself some pretty nice battery cable plugs. A solid thick piece of copper out of that electrical cabinet rail connector thingy. They fit very firmly.
Looks like I have a deep connection to that new bicycle car already. Wow, this dreht ja fast 360 Grad, Junge, das ist ja geil. Show yourself. While driving, I suddenly run out of electrical power. From that moment on, I was riding a dead horse. Only because I wanted to accelerate, while also at the same time using my DC-DC converter to power my horn. Der trotzdem gut. Schönes Ding. Well, the fuse of the e-bike unit is a 40 amp one. But the fuse inside of my battery pack is only a 20 amp one. So what to do? Well, after some thoughts, I simply replace the broken 20 amp fuse with a solid thick piece of copper wire. I hope the battery won't complain, because I not only operate the hub motor with the battery, but also that little DC-DC converter, so that I can have 12 volts consumers as well, like the lights and the horn, at the same time. Hmm, what's with the light system? Right now there is just one lamp mounted. I added a lamp shade so that it's more like a low beam in case if anyone else is on the street too. But I don't like it much. At some point I even pointed the light beam much higher. I guess I have to mount a second lamp on the other side too. So that one lamp is low beam and the other high beam. And with a switch I can switch between them. So that always only one is glowing. Thermic radiation, you ask? Well, sure, there's some heat. The lamp. The display, the hub motor, the battery in the front, the wires, and even the controller in the trunk. I'm still unsure if it was a mistake to put the controller in the trunk with no real air circulation for cooling. Hmm. Pedal speed test. Well, the battery wasn't completely full anymore. So I didn't consider to just use the throttle lever, but rather pedaling to the metal. Of 
45 km per hour reached. But as I always say, it isn't about speed, but style. Style and feeling is what matters most. So a cruise speed of, a, of just 20 is perfect for the experience. Ja, ich habe eine Zwischenstufe. Reicht aus. Boah, jetzt fährt es sich schön. Ja. Der 20 Second ist die dritte Version of that specific tricycle car line. As such, it is advanced like hell. For example, let's compare the weights of all three models. That's just impressing. 10 kilos less in comparison with the predecessor models, which are heavier. While we look at those improvements, let's see even more of them. Alright, I guess it's safe to say that this version is a game changer indeed. Folks, sad to say, but that's it for today.